First year expectations for Minnesota Vikings, new head coach Kevin O'Connell. Now, O'Connell has been the officer coordinator for the Rams since 2020. And although he never called the plays, he had a really big role when it came to strategizing and building up the philosophy of the Rams offense. Sean McVay holds him in high regard. As a matter of fact, when Brandon Staley was first hired as the head coach for the LA Chargers, he tried to interview O'Connell for his officer coordinator spot. However, Sean McVay blocked the interview because Sean McVay holds him in a really high regard. And he basically said that, hey, even though he doesn't call the plays, he has a really big role in terms of what we like to do offensively. And we would at least like to have him for one more year. And this was a perfect fit for O'Connell because he's going to a team that has a lot of talent on the offensive side of the football. And on top of that, they have a lot of talent on the defensive side of the football as well. Intriguing to see how the defensive coordinator for Minnesota is going to fare this year because Minnesota's defense hasn't been that great over the last couple of years. Despite the fact that they do have talent, the defense never really has been able to perform and it's kind of the main reason why Mike Zimmer ended up getting fired because the defense was a large reason why Minnesota missed out on making it into the postseason last year. You look at O'Connell, what is he going to bring to the Minnesota Vikings? Well, he's going to put a big emphasis on the run game. He's not solely just going to rely on the outside zone, which is a big staple of Kyle Shanahan and Sean McVay's offense. He's going to implement different versions of the run game. You may see a little bit of outside zone. You may see some inside zone as well. You're just going to see a lot of different variations when it comes to the run game. And the passing game is probably going to be probably more of a quick attack probably trying to get Kirk Cousins the ball out fast quick out to guys like Adam Thielen and Justin Jefferson spreading the football around and attacking the defense then on top of that we already know there's going to be a lot of pre-snap motion we're probably going to see a lot of 11 personnel three wide receiver sets and just because he comes from Sean McVay's coaching tree probably doesn't mean that he's going to do the exact same thing that Sean McVay used to do he but he's probably going to add his own spin on things and if you're a Vikings fan you have to be feeling really confident about O'Connell because Sean McVay's coaching tree has been pretty successful so far. Zach Taylor just got done leading Cincinnati to the Super Bowl for the first time in decades. So the coaching tree for Sean McVay has been pretty good, even though we have a pretty small sample size of it. You look at O'Connell and you listen to him and how he talks in his interviews. He knows a lot about football. This dude is a football nerd. He also used to be the former quarterback of the San Diego State Aztecs during his college years. So he also has played the quarterback position and he has gotten the most out of guys like Matthew Stafford. And it's going to be intriguing to see what he does with Kirk Cousins because Kirk Cousins future was a big question mark heading into the offseason. Some people thought that he was going to end up getting traded, but they ended up extending him. And he's going to have a really big season with Minnesota because this offense is going to do so many great things. The offensive line already is pretty solid. You probably have one of the best wide receiving cores in all of the NFL. Adam Thielen, Justin Jefferson, KJ Osborne is starting to come on as of late. But I really want to see what he's going to do with Irv Smith because Irv Smith is super talented. However, he doesn't really get utilized all that much in the offense. And with more 11 personnel sets, I think that we could see a potential breakout year out of Irv Smith. And it doesn't really make any sense why the talent of him of his hasn't really showed yet probably because there hasn't been an officer coordinator that has tried to utilize him that much so I want to see what we're going to get out of Irv Smith this year and O'Connell's offense on top of that I'm really excited about Minnesota overall they have 
the potential to make a deep playoff run this season because Kirk Cousins had a really good year last year and a lot of people like to harp on Kirk Cousins call him overrated but last season you could make the argument and say that Cousins played like a top 10 quarterback and if not a top 10 quarterback at least a top 12 quarterback which is really good and I'm so tired of the national media saying that Kirk Cousins can't win big games. If you go back and watch Minnesota last year, a lot of games they lost was because the defense sucked, not because of Kirk Cousins. Hopefully O'Connell can get Kirk Cousins playing at an even better level than what he did last season. And maybe everybody will open their eyes to how good Kirk Cousins really is because we saw what happened with Matthew Stafford when he got traded from Detroit to Los Angeles Rams. We saw how the national media's narrative about Matthew Stafford shifted really quickly. Remember what the narrative was about Matthew Stafford during his playing days in Detroit? Oh, you mean... Matt Matthew Stat Pafford, all he does is pad his stats. He doesn't do anything. He just gets a lot of good yardage and garbage time. Well, Sean McVay ends up making a couple of calls, ends up trading Jared Goff and says, hey, man, we're going to give you Jared Goff a couple of first-round selections for Matthew Stafford. Matthew Stafford gets traded to Detroit. The rest is history. Matthew Stafford is now Super Bowl champion. And now all of a sudden, everybody considers Matthew Stafford to be a top 10, almost top five quarterback. But for those of you guys who have been watching football before that, we already knew that Matthew Stafford was a top 10 quarterback. It's just that he was held back by a bad organization in Detroit. I think the same thing can be said for Kirk Cousins. Now, the Vikings are not a bad organization, not as bad as the Detroit Lions. However, with Kirk Cousins now having an offensive-minded coach, you're going to have somebody who's going to strategize and build the perfect offense around what Kirk Cousins does best. Kirk Cousins is pretty good off-play action, bootlegs. That's really where he has the most success as. Then... You already have a solid group of wide receivers, not even a solid group, but an elite group of wide receivers. You almost had two 1,000-yard receivers. If Adam Thielen could have stayed healthy last season, he probably could have easily eclipsed 1,000 yards. Vikings fans, you have a very good head coach in Kevin O'Connell, at least what it looks like on paper. Now, we haven't really seen Tim coach a single game in the NFL yet. We don't know how his time management is going to be. We don't know how he's going to handle certain big moments. However, what we do know is that you have a head coach who is going to be really keen in on the offensive side of the football. And you're also going to have somebody who's going to be very detailed. We see Sean McVay. When he talks football, he doesn't skip over any parts. He's really detailed. He pays attention to the small things. And the small things are really important because the small things add up. And the more small things that you keep adding up, you end up building something big. Really excited for Kevin O'Connell and what he's going to do with the Minnesota Vikings. I'm expecting this team to make it to the postseason. And if they don't make it to the postseason, then it's going to be a really big disappointment. You look at this team from a talent standpoint on the offensive line, solid. Defense should be pretty solid this year. This is a playoff caliber football team. On top of that, you're playing in a pretty weak division. Outside of Green Bay, we know the Chicago Bears are probably going to be one of the worst teams in the league this season. You look at Detroit, they may push Minnesota. However, the Vikings should still be a good enough team that they should be able to get into the playoffs this year under Kevin O'Connell in his first season. And if Kevin O'Connell is able to get the Minnesota Vikings to the playoffs, and let's say they win... 11 games he probably could be in the discussion for coach of the year so you guys let me know how you guys feel about kevin o'connell and this hiring down in the comment section down below what are your first year expectations for him going into year one with minnesota First year expectations for Josh McDaniels with the las vegas raiders the raiders finished with a 10 and 7 record last season they were one of the biggest stories in the NFL with interim head coach Rich B. Bisaka as their 